If you really hate notating these rhythms from the online sources, then I suggest you copy Control c and paste them into a Word file, which you're going to have to save before you can then save it as PDF, which I've already done. And the reason I'm doing that is because in Sibelius, in the import menu, this program we call Photoscore will scan in PDFs. So if you paste the graphics into a Word file and then save it as PDF, you can import it using this method. And I would say, hi, it's good quality. And you'll notice it just pops in and it's telling you there's no bad timing. So it's read it accurately. The top bit is the original and the bottom bit's what it's read and it's all perfectly accurate, all good. So we can just say send to Sibelius and you just use all the default settings and it will just open in a Sibelius score. Once you've got it in this format, you can do a number of things. The first thing I'd suggest would be to save it. And then the next thing I would suggest is if you're trying to make a melody, change this into some sort of instrument that you can hear, like piano. There's a couple of little mistakes. For example, there was no repeat bar and there was no extra 4-4. Four, four. And you'd put your chords across the top, which in my case are Control k And now I want to make my melody choices. A, C, B, ACC. Hmm, I'm thinking this is all too high. I had a tie here, but I can't actually tie it if it's spelt like this, so I'm going to have to change this A flat spelling to a G sharp spelling. But as you know, they're the same note. Yeah. Let's have a listen to this. You know, now that I look at it, I'm thinking I could make a few changes. I might put this E up higher. And I might change this to a, I don't know, C, A flat C. Let's try it from there. I didn't like the C, but I liked the high E. You'll notice I've changed the notes that are not part of the chord to pink, so I can just keep track of which ones are which. And I'm going to triple click and just realize out the underlying piano part just so I can hear the sound of it with the chords. Well that sounded horrible didn't it? This bit here. It's too crunchy. I'm wondering if my flat nine was a bad choice. Maybe I should get rid of that and get rid of the tie as well. Let's try that. I quite like that. It's crunchy, but it's nicer than it was before. So, you know, once you get into Sibelius, you're going to make some other decisions. Obviously, I wouldn't have piano being accompanied by piano. So let's change it to something attractive. Viola solo or something. And so on yeah so if I actually liked this melody and I wanted to keep it for use in other places I would pop into the view panels ideas score ideas yeah and I would capture it right so there's this little light bulb with the butterfly net I'd capture it we learnt this in grade 9 which means Lily and Adelaide haven't learnt it but if you pop in there, you can edit the idea info and, and, and put some information in here and give it a color if you want, you know. I'd probably suggest to you that you also keep a copy of the chord progression. You can close the ideas and you can get them back whenever you want. And then you can start building your larger piece when you finally collect all the ideas that you want to use. 